Hi everybody, welcome to Bob's Oak Gauge Trains. Thanks for stopping by. I hope everybody had a really great holiday weekend. I hope everybody was well and you got to get some rest, have some fun, uh, go to the beach, play with some trains, do whatever you wanted to do, but uh, I hope everybody was healthy and happy and had a great weekend. So thanks for stopping by. Um, today's video, um, we're gonna have a little bit um, left over from the last video. I'm actually taping this on the back end of Memorial Day, so I've moved the trains from a, to a different track. I still have the two Army trains on track number two and three. We're going to see them again. Um, it's still Memorial Day, and I didn't have the heart to take them off quite yet. I felt a little guilty about it, so uh, we're going we're to check them out again today. Um, also, on the inside loop, I put 4501 back, the Southern Railroad. Um, I did a video on it a couple weeks ago, and after running, I had a little bit of an issue with the smoke unit was acting up. Turns out there was a short in the smoke unit, so I pulled the smoke unit and I replaced it with a uh, MTH ProtoSound 1 smoke unit, and I jumped it directly to track power and put a switch, on-off switch, on the bottom of the cab. So uh, I'm going to be running that to show you guys how much smoke this thing really puts out. I guarantee you have never in your life seen an O-gauge steam engine by any manufacturer smoke like this. Guaranteed. But uh, it, it's really great. Uh, this is a very special engine uh, to me, and uh, I want to make sure that uh, she's running and running well. And on the outside track, I'm running uh, Pennsylvania Railroad double-headed steam, and uh, I've put 20 coal hoppers on. We're going to be pulling a coal train, and what's unique about this uh, coal train is I handmade the coal loads that go inside. Basically, start with a piece of foam like this. You get from any craft store, uh, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, they all sell it. And uh, you cut it to fit. Uh, I add right down the middle, right in here, I add uh, a wooden spline, similar to like a popsicle stick, pour the coal on top. Spray it with glue when it's dry, trim it to fit, and uh, after that, I give the sides a light coat of uh, black spray paint, and I uh, spray some urethane on the top, because um, this is real granules, this is actually coal slag, and it just kind of seals it and uh, makes it good so you're not losing stray particles here and there, um, but it's very, very detailed and uh, looks like the real thing and a lot better than uh, you see in the plastic uh, coal loads that are put out by all the manufacturers. All you have to do is just plop it right into your coal hopper and you're ready to go. I'm going to be doing a video on this in a couple weeks on how to make these coal loads so stay tuned for that but for now sit back and enjoy we're going to run the 4501 with her new and improved smoke. Um, being it's still Memorial Day, we're going to run the Army train, both the hospital and the infantry train. And on the outside loop, we have double-headed steam, pulling 20 coal hoppers, all with coal loads uh, that were scratch-built by myself. So sit back and enjoy today's video.
hey, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. It was a lot of fun, and uh, man, that Southern 4501 belched out a whole pile of smoke. Um, I'll be going through smoke fluid like crazy, but um, it's all good. I'm all about special effects, and uh, it's a beautiful engine uh, that I came across back in February. Had a little bit of work done on it, and uh, she's working like a charm, and I'm real happy with it. And uh, the uh, other train with the coal loads, um, I will be doing a video, instructional video, in a couple weeks on how to make your own coal loads. Um, it's pretty cheap. It just takes a lot of time. So, um, you know, it's up to you. You can leave it uh, the, with the coal load that the manufacturers supply in the car or run it without one or make your own. Or if you have any other ideas, um, heck, let me know. But uh, we're, we uh, ran that train, so I, I hope everybody got to find something enjoyable. I want to thank everybody for taking time out of your day to watch my video. As usual, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe and hit the bell notification button so you don't miss anything in the future. Also visit my Instagram channel. The link to that is in the description below. Uh, leave a comment. Give me a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I answer each and every single comment. I have not missed one. Um, I kind of look at it this way. If you've got the time that you can uh, watch me, I definitely have the time to answer you if you have a question or a concern or a comment. So uh, if you have a comment or a question, feel free. 